Everyone talking about Azraq by Bodice the Victorious. The notes in this are cardamom, cinnamon, saffron, cassis, pineapple, lemon, bergamot, rose, jasmine, violet, muguet, spicy accord, amber, dry woods, agarwood, oud, sandalwood, musk, cedarwood, and more oud. Uh, not my taste at all. Sometimes Bodice the Victorious takes notes that I normally dislike, and they're done in a way that just transforms them into this cohesive, new, totally th you know different type of scent that you wouldn't have expected from that. Not the case here, but that is not to say it's bad. It's not. It smells very high quality. I just don't like it because I don't like the tart fruits meets rose and floral meets medicinal oud style combo. This is, it's certainly not like the most, you know, hardcore animalic oud that you're going to find. This is more like that medicinal type of oud, but I don't like it. And I don't like the, the almost like syrupy, rosy cassis tartness that goes with the wood. I just really don't find this pleasant. Uh, I also don't think it smells the most original because there's a lot of other niche fragrances that have this type of scent profile, though I would say this is perhaps a bit more floral than the average sweet oud scent and not just rose because obviously there's lots of rose and oud scents, but beautiful bottle though uh, and great longevity and projection, but I don't want someone near me wearing this all the more reason with great longevity and projection. Uh, I would say pretty unisex, but it does lean feminine. Yeah, actually maybe more feminine leaning in terms of just stereotypically, obviously anybody should wear it if they want to. The other thing is this is almost $500 for a 100 ml bottle. Again, beautiful bottle, but I mean, to me, even if I try to take out the fact that I just don't like this scent profile, it's not unique enough to me to justify being $500 or so for a 100 ml. But maybe if this is your favorite, if you really like floral, sweet, medicinal oud scents, it's totally possible that you would feel differently from me because, again, this is not, even to me, this isn't like low quality or cheap smelling or anything like that. It's just like, I just really, really don't like it. But uh, I don't think most people would find it disgusting. But I don't also don't think this would be mass pleasing that everybody would love it either. I'm sure somebody could comment saying, oh yeah, I get so many compliments on it. And I'm sure that that does for some people, but I don't think if that's like your number one goal that this would be kind of the one to reach for in general. But I'll put a uh, link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample if you want to check it out.